uh, you'll get mixed opinions if you ask which gender or what's the what's the most def definitive identifiable gender as a primary caregiver. But it seems evolutionary history studies would even be pointing to women back then uh, if you had the males going out hunt hunting and gathering. Um, and that when they copulated, they they hit a hit a woman on the back of the head with a with a club and and dragged her by a hair to a cave. Then it would certainly seem that the the best nurturers and primary caregivers were, would have been women, admitted by the behavior and activities of males, even in, in even all the way back into evolutionary past. Um. So yes, I do. I do think that someone involved in an ancient monarchy. See, a lot of a lot of these people people get people get wound up the wrong way concerning certain stories. Like they'll, if if you tell a person who's been taught your Bible is the perfect word of God, they might wander so far and then hear someone say, "Oh, but this story is in in the Zoroastrian mythology. How can, how can you say?" Or Dionysus was turning water into wine 1,000 years before Jesus was born. Um, in, in fact, when it comes to Jesus, they tend to say things like, well, what if Satan learned of God's plan to send Jesus? And so, so Satan lined up a whole bunch of other people to get crucified and return three days later after performing a series of uh, non now known to be natural law-defying miraculous feats. Um, because they wanted to pre pre prequely discredit him. <laughs> so that even though Jesus is the most recent, recent example of a miracle performer, um, uh, his integrity is, is preserved because all the 999 gods and their associated mythologies that your church will call them mytholo uh, mythologies, that were written earlier than the stories of, uh, attributed to, to Jesus Christ uh, were false, and yet his were true. Now, it's no offense to him as a person to, to question the veracity of those texts. That's a challenge I'm putting to people. But back to this Genesis story. So uh, when you have, when you ha you do actually have the power. Don't, remember what these ancient monarchies would have been. They would not have just been a kingdom ruling over a bunch of commoners. They would have been the media, the library, the uh, vault of in intelligence, the CIA, the FBI, the police. Um, they would have been all these things rolled into one. And they were fucking their family. So that's what I do think of. Like the, uh, uh, maybe the maybe the um, this member of royalty spotted these two himself looking out a castle window, and seeing seeing them lined up, the males back lined up against a tree. It's his back against a tree as he's getting the blowjob from the woman. And he sees her hand against one rib as she's giving him the blowjob. So he goes back to being a royal person of royalty and he tells a scribe, well, we'll write this story for the, for the stupid common folk. Um... God pl placed one man at the time thinking, you know, I was the, I, I could have had her. Oh, but I don't need her now. I have better things to do. Da, 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 da. Um, and he, he sort of gets her back. He, he acts out a revenge as the narrative of Genesis is being devised. Um, perhaps he's imagining 
her she's he's he's trying to imagine her being created for him in some way but that was just something that the rules of being within a royal family would not permit at that time in history so he gets re he exact he enacts revenge uh, against her upon her by having his scribe write a story about a god god creating the first man uh, but he uses the singular term god when there were plenty of gods go ev going around everywhere so those reading it wouldn't know who they meant which which god which god would have been a question upon everyone's mind at the time uh, god created man first and then he removed it the man said he was lonely so he took a rib because what's buried in this what's buried in this genesis narrative is that if they had two sons adam and eve give birth to two sons cain and abel uh, and cain killed abel not only is this, is this can the story not possibly be true but um cain would have to have impregnated eve his own mother and you all thought, because you grew up in Australia, we're more free than in America, and motherfucker is a nice term. It's like it's like saying, uh, you're the best ever. <laughs> I've loved you my whole life, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, it's a question. It's a obviously a questionable term, as it indeed it should sound to you. So Cain would have had to kill his brother Abel. And then when Cain had his sons or daughters, the only possible vagina on earth would have been that of his own mother's Eve. Now the only person who's ever going to think, even think that a story like that is worth writing down is a member of royalty who could have written that Luke Banton took a shit into the mouth of Luke Banton later that night and then the earth was created from Mars. And then Mars had already already had better than satellite technology invented and had received a signal from Uranus to warn Venus to warn Jupiter not to use any Jungian archetypes when telling Earth politely. Um, that their beliefs are, are pretty much their religious beliefs are, are based in a presumptuous bullshit. And that's one thing the Freemasons would talk about is the tone of voice. If you if, if the decimeter, decibels of a woman's tone of voice when she is singing in a church worship songs to her God are, um, I'm not sure of the proper term, but it relates to the juxtaposition in the, vo in the voice of the male when approaching that woman in a courtship attempt conversationally certain keywords are dropped oh hello love how are you nice to meet you you seem very interesting what are you about can you tell me about yourself uh so that she feels and that it hits the region of her brain that she thinks is her soul reaching for her god and then she will want to have sex with you probably on the same day if done properly So I am no friend to religion. I'm no friend to claims of psychiatry that they're they're hammering at tr out at truths. You've got healthcare people trying to pretend that they're the police, the courts. They take they're essentially like the they're like the remnants of these ancient monarchies. You'll even hear them saying, "Yeah, well, if we evolved, you know, probably the first the first humans that evolved had to had to fuck one another. They wouldn't have known the difference." Well, bullshit, you're instinctively deterred <laughs> from certain things, I'm sorry. Well, yeah. unless you're pumped full of a lot of ideas of nobility and why you're better than everyone else and, and, and mean more than everyone else. Uh, over that of something like our Human Rights Act, for instance. Thank you. <laughs>